Hello dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. In this video I'm revisiting Navigraph as you can see here. I've actually just got myself another monthly subscription with Navigraph. And in this video I'm going to talk about is Navigraph worth revisiting and subbing to either if you have in the past or if you're new. Is it correct for you? So in this video, I'm going to explore all the different features that Navigraph can offer. Talk about why I've resubbed to it recently. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you my recommendations. Whether it's the right thing for you. That's quite an important subject when it comes to Navigraph. Okay, well, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. So let's start exploring whether it's worth resubbing to Navigraph using Simbrief. Now Simbrief, I believe, is owned by Navigraph, but you can use Simbrief free of charge. Recently, I've been flying a lot of airlines, and I've been using Simbrief quite a lot. This is a flight I recently did. It's basically Amsterdam to London Heathrow. So I set up my flight plan and pilot briefing. The pilot briefing is essentially what the pilot was, would get in a real aircraft, and it would go through all the different uh, pages, the pages of briefing for the flight. But you can set this up free of charge. You only need a subscription to Simbrief to do this and Navigraph, but you don't need to pay anything. You can do this completely free free. As I've been flying a lot of airlines recently, for my virtual airline, my virtual airline video is linked down below in the description in case you don't know what that is or you've not seen that video. Because I've been doing that, Navigraph has been on my mind and I thought let's give this a try because you can do a whole lot more with this route. With Simbri, if you got the route, that's fine. You've got the SID, uh, the route sort of different waypoints and then you've got the star and the arrival airport you've got all that information and your pilot's brief of course it will be enough for a lot of people but if you want to go one step further go and resubscribe to Navigraph now let me get it out straight from the start it cost me nine euros zero five just over nine euros for a monthly subscription it's about eight pounds or so so not expensive for the year it's just over 80 euros that'll be about 70 to 75 pound if you want it for the year I'll come back to that later I've got a bit a few one or two misgivings with that pricing setup or one thing that I wish they would add. But still, it's not too expensive. So if you either do it monthly or for the year, it's not too bad. Because obviously, if you're well into flight sim, you're spending a lot of money already. But with Navigraph, let me just show you what you can do. I've got my Simbri flight. I can import that. Import flight from Simbrief. Import from Simbrief, the one you've set up. And it's this one here, Amsterdam to Heathrow. Click on that. Oh, click on this box here to import it. There you go. It's imported into Simbrief. Into Navigraph, rather. Now, just by the way, I'm using Navigraph Cloud. You can download Navigraph charts to your PC and use the desktop version. I just thought, just to save a bit of hard drive space, I'll use the cloud version for now, see how that goes. This course is similar. It's a bit more colourful than this map here and that routing. But it's essentially the same route I've got there into Navigraph. So where's the difference? Here's the fun part. Let's go to our uh, uh, departure airport and click on this little box here. You can overlay on your route here the genuine chart from Jefferson, I believe, Overlay it on your route so you can see what's going on with the airport there and what your departure is telling you what to do, what it looks like on the chart. I think that's a real game changer. I can go to my, I believe this is my SID here, my departure. I've got the departure chart so I can look at this. Instead of skimming through all these pages of 
pulling my hair out trying to find that information there or from Google. You could do it from Google or Chartfox. Yeah, maybe I'll touch on that a bit later. But it's just so easy to do this from the actual Navigraph here. That it's so convenient to do this from Navigraph here. If I want to, I can click on my arrival chart there. One thing I would be using is my star. So my arrival, uh, yeah, my, my star setup there. So I've got Logan 2H, which coincides with what I've got in Simbrief there. And I can see my arrival chart there for Logan 2H, showing me exactly what I need to do, the different flight levels and that type of thing. This overlaying of charts, yes, you can Google these separately, but to have these so conveniently overlaid into Navigraph is a real game changer. One thing I will mention there, the charts sort of, these, these do change. So these will update, I believe, on a monthly basis into Navigraph for you. And if you have Navigraph on a monthly subscription or yearly subscription, it will also update the Simbrief charts for you on a monthly basis as well. So it's basically the arc uh, cycles and that type of thing. Not a massive, uh, doesn't make a massive difference for Microsoft Flight Sim, but it's nice to have everything updated. Pretty much what real world pilots would be using in both Navigraph and Simbrief. It would do it automatically, automatically for you, or you could do it manually. I just find these charts overly a game changer. Absolute game changer. So when you're setting up your flights, and you can actually do this in the sim as well with some aircrafts. In fact, now I've touched on that point, let's jump into the sim, into an aircraft, to show you how you can use Navigraph in certain aircraft. So I'm loaded in in Microsoft Flight Sim in the 146 Professional. I believe this is the 200 QT version. It's basically a cargo aircraft that I fly for my virtual airline. There we go. Air we cargo or air we go livery there. That's what you'll get if you join our virtual airline. Very nice, I must say. But it's aircraft like these that support Simbrief and Navigraph integration. I believe other aircraft like the Fenix A320, the Vision Jet as well, I believe, someone can correct me if I'm wrong there, support Navigraph integration. And what this does, you can go to your charts, so on the tablet, if you have one in your aircraft, go to the charts tab there, and you can view all those charts in your aircraft without coming out, unless you have a different screen of course, but without coming out to a different screen, you can view them straight from your aircraft. So let's go to uh, the star there, our arrivals. And let's just scroll up here and get to our Logan 2H, which I set up on the flight. And I can see my star into EGLL here from the actual aircraft screen, which is fantastic. Now, like I said, you can do these in various different aircraft. There's very few other apps or aircraft that support other different types of chart integration. If you want chart proper chart integration for wherever you are in the world, so let's try San Francisco, KSF, oops, KSFO, I believe, and search for that. There you go, San Francisco. So I want the taxiways, I'm coming into land. And I want, well, I'll define this now. Taxiway diagram, airport information. There we go. I've got it straight up on this screen there. And I want to see where I need to taxi. That looks complicated, doesn't it? When I get to San Fran. Or I want my approach charts. And let's just pick this approach, for example. I want to see the one of the approach charts into San Fran. From wherever you want to fly in the world, Navigraphs covers it. And it's very, very thorough in that sense. So it's just showcasing basically the chart information that you get with Navigraph here and Navigraph subscription. Let's go back to EGLL and get back to my star. I might take a moment to update. There you go, my star. Into Logan. So 
So I've got to press the search box here so it comes a P for all there, that's fine. And bring up my Logan arrival again as it was a flight I was doing. I just think that's fantastic, so I'm flying along. And then come down here to look at the charts straight from the aircraft. One of the big advantages you get with a Navigraph subscription. For supported aircraft that support charts in the actual aircraft. Okay, let me go now to my conclusion and recommendations. Okay, conclusion and recommendations. Is it worth resubbing or subbing to Navigraph? Well, it depends really on your type of flying. If you're mainly a GA aircraft flyer, so you fly GA aircraft mainly, and you're not using charts, and obviously this may not be of use to you. Something I didn't mention, like little nav map, as you're flying along, you get a little aircraft icon and it will follow your route along. And something that's fantastic, if I'm approaching, in this case, Logan, in my airliner, I can click on the approach plate there for Logan 2H and I can see where the aircraft is on that star on the way to EGLL. I think that's absolutely fantastic. That chart overlay feature is a big winner for me. So if you fly mainly mainly GA aircraft, you don't touch airliners and you're not really interested in charts, possibly not for you if you're an airliner flying. A flyer rather, you fly a lot of airliners. And I would say specifically if you're on PC Microsoft Flight Sim, I usually have my PC Microsoft Flight Sim in windowed modes so I can switch between all these different windows and Flight Sim if I need to. If I'm flying the 146, I've got the actual uh, approach plates and charts in the sim now, so I don't have to do it too often with that. But it might still be useful just to see where your aircraft is along the route. And just to have these different features, and there's features that I'm still discovering with Navigraph, I think it's fantastic. You can do it with little nav maps, see your aircraft along the route in little nav map, but you don't get all these additional little features that you get with uh, Navigraph here at all with little nav map. So there is a big advantage with there with little nav map. Listen, I'm going to see how it goes over the next couple of months. For me, it's around £8 a month. It's not expensive. My one big misgiving is that I wish Navigraph would offer a one-off payment. Now, ideally, £50 or £60 sounds good to me, but that's <laughs> wishful thinking, I believe. But even something like £80 or £90 sounds very expensive, but it's basically less than two high-fidelity aircraft. So if you bought the PMDG 737-700 uh, variant, for example, and the 146, that's more expensive than 80 or 90 pound. As a one-off payment, I would go for it. I believe many people would too. On the other hand, eight pound a month, just over 80 euros for the year, so that'd be 70, 75 pound a year. Doesn't seem overly expensive to me at the moment. And if you're flying airliners and you want all these neat utilities of seeing where you are along your route and then overlaying your route here with charts, I just think Navigraph is hard to beat for that. For both the convenience and the versatility of its UI, I just believe that's incredible. But do let me know your own thoughts. For me, it's a big recommendation, especially if you have some interest in, in charts. You can even do things like flight planning from here. Set up a route here, so set up a flight plan, and then you fly along it, and still you'll have all these options of overlaying the various different parts uh, with charts and goodness knows what. It's worth it. Worth a look if you're interested in it, but do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you, do you have a Navigraph subscription? Are you happy with it? Do you also wish they would offer that one-off payment? That would be a bonus. Navigraph, if you're listening and you probably had this question and put to you so many times, do you seriously consider that, that one-off payment option? Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the video, give it a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, many more Flight Simulator videos on their way, and I'll be seeing you soon.